Okay, so today we are doing the contract activity. Um, so, basically that's what we're doing today and tomorrow. Today you're really going to be planning for the most part. So if you go to modules and go to this section, it's the last thing down here. It's not big okay, I don't want that. Oh, I forgot everything gets published again. That's annoying. Boom. Perfect. Uh, so this is the contract activity. You are going to be creating a contract with someone in your life, an adult of some sort. It could be a coach, it could be a parent, it could be an advisor, it could be a teacher. Anyway, um, it could be anybody you want it to be. Um, it's totally up to you. But it's up to you to create parts of this contract. Now, I've made it somewhat simple at the beginning, and it gets harder as we go. Um, here's the rubric you might would need to look at to see how you score this. Um, and here's how it goes. So I blank propose that blank go into a formal agreement of a blank. The blank, the blank, and or blank are listed below. And this looks confusing, but I have it numbered, and you can see down here the number correlates with the space you have to fill in. Does that make sense? So there's just a little bit of basic recall in here. Uh, who makes the offer? So that is our definition from the notes we went over yesterday. Are you okay? Yeah. You look like you're like, you look like you could seen some stuff. No. Okay, I was making sure you're okay because you were like zoned out. You're like a kid at the pool after they've been swimming. Have y'all seen those memes? The one with the, how you look at the pool after you've been swimming all day and they got the towel over their head and they're eating their snack. That is, that is a, those are facts. That is exactly how it works. Anyway, um, but basically, if you follow these blanks, it'll make sense. Um, then, so this is now when you have to give up something or give something. I will blank in exchange. You will, or you, blank, will, blank, basically. What you're doing is you're either going to be offering something. I'm going to do my homework for this class every night in exchange. You will. Da, 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 da. Or you won't give us any homework in exchange we will do all our work in class. Things like that. This doesn't have to be an actual contract, so if you do this with another teacher, um, that's fine. Have a coach talk about something y'all will do. A anything you, you ha usually have to do. With your parents, is there something you're supposed to do in the house? Okay, so something like that. Make it a contract. What in exchange will I get for unloading the dishwasher? Does that make sense? And you are going to need to diagram what all of those things are, basically. So, um, and we will talk about that more. And then once you get done, you will write a summary. So please write a page summary covering the following points. Um, it's times we run, it's a half spaces, so one and a half spaces, so it's really not that bad. Uh, explain the purpose of the contract, explain what was being exchanged, discuss if there were counter offers or any bargains that took place over the contract. So the person you're making this contract with are allowed to have a counter offer, and then you will need to retype in your contract what they offered, and then you can make some comments and make some changes on what happened. Um, explain a few examples of how the contract would be completed or slash not completed. Uh, be sure to include the vocabulary words. And we, you're not going to get this done yet. The main thing you need to get done today and tomorrow is writing up this contract because. The person's not necessarily going to see it until you present it to them, correct? you got to be, the, you're the author. Spoiler alert, so your name goes there. But anyway, um, basically, you are going to be writing this contract, offering it to someone. Hopefully, they will agree to it and sign it down here at the bottom. And then we will go over the next section of notes about um, completing a contract. And that's how you will do this part of the summary right here. Any other information from the contract that you thought was important? So you'll have all this information in here. And I'm giving you enough, I think, bullet points that you can write a page fairly easy. Um, it's really not that bad. So um, I know I don't I don't usually get y'all to write much, but bear with me. It's not bad. Um, Carter, this is not due until sometime next week. But if you get this part, this first part done very quickly then you'll be fine. Like in the next couple of days, if you write the contract, show it to someone,
they sign off on it, you're done. Does that make sense? So pretty basic. Um, and then all you have to do is write the summary, and I'm going to give you plenty of time next week after Monday, because also you have Monday. You have Monday to get this contract done as well. Then on Tuesday, we'll go over the 2.02 notes, and then Wednesday, Thursday, so you have time to write it in class. So really, you don't have to do this ever for homework or anything. It's in class, so it's not a bad deal. This is an assessment. It's not really a test, but it is an assessment, so I can see how you do on this. We're going to do another activity on employment law, basically, after this. And you'll see where that goes, and it's going to be a little bit more writing. So you have to do some writing for the next two, basically, projects. Not a big deal. And I'm not going to be very harsh about, you know, grammar and things like that. You write up a writing decent summary, you follow those bullet points, you'll be perfect. Are there any questions you may have about this activity? Yeah, if you get this part done, basically, today, well, I say this part, then you're basically good. Uh, and then by Monday of next week, if you have it signed, you're golden. Does that make sense? Contract needs to be signed by Monday. So I'm giving you today and tomorrow in case you want to do it with the teacher or your parents. You've got plenty of time here at school to do that, or if it's a coach, whatever advisor. And you still have Monday to finish it if you really need that time. I would doubt you need Monday. Because it, it's, it's simple, right? You're, you're filling in points. All right, um, and then, like I said, I'm going to probably give you a couple days to finish this summary part, because if you have a full hour of class time, you can write a page. That's not All right, any other questions? If y'all are good, I'm going to let you have at it. Uh, my people on Zoom, you are welcome to stay. The people recording, um, that's it. So